welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica Yik from Yik's R Us, and today we have a pretty crazy grocery haul going on. It is right now at the time of filming. It's January the 12th. It's been announced today by um, our premier that Ontario is in. Um, well, we're we're still in full lockdown, but we are now in a state of emergency, and we have a stay-at-home order, which means that we are only supposed to go out for essentials such as doctor's appointments and for groceries so what do we do we go out and start buying everything that we probably will need until the middle of february <laughs> or well yeah i'm pretty sure that this will last for, for us until the middle of february plus um we still have some things from my last grocery haul that we didn't use up yet so I, we are definitely set now Nelson actually went out to buy everything this time around, and so it is, was a bit of a surprise haul. I finished disinfecting everything so that I can go through without having to worry. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a substantial haul, guys. It's really really substantial. However, I must say I am much more impressed this time around than last time around with the items that he got because it's more. Um, more well balanced, I would say. There are a bit of proteins in here, not a lot because we still have a lot of proteins that are left over from our previous hauls and from our freezer stock up. And so if you wanna see any of those, um, they are up here in the description box. And so here we go, let's start showing you everything he got. Not to my surprise, he actually bought an entire case of the chicken flavor chuching nothing nissen nissen nissen. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, instant ramen. This is one of his favorite ones. I don't particularly like it just because I know how much sodium and MSG and not healthy things are in here. But he said that you know, just in case, we should have some on hand. So sure, if it makes him feel better, why not? So we have a case of that, as well as we have two packages of pre-made dumplings from TNT. These are actually pretty good, and they're decent for the price. Um, I can make my own dumplings. It's just it's dumplings are something that we will make if he and I are both super busy with work. And we need something really quick and easy to feed our family. So he has two packs of those, which will last us for quite some time. I did forget to mention, though, that we he went to two different places. He went to TNT, which is our usual grocery choice, grocery store of choice. Yes, that's how you say it. And um, he also went to Walmart to pick up, you know, one of the essentials. People are already starting to uh, stock up, right? It was announced maybe around 12 o'clock today. And he went at maybe like 6 six o'clock or so and some of the shelves are already bare so at tnt they already ran out of tofu they ran out of what else did they run out of honey TNT? yeah it was they ran out of tofu tofu noodles cornstarch corn yeah tofu noodles cornstarch and there was something else i remember you telling me milk no tnt oh yeah they only had the most expensive brand of milk there so yeah that was there and then at walmart they had run out of bacon they had run out of apples they had run out of milk there was very few eggs left very few, uh, not much noodles left either um oatmeal was running low there was just a lot of people really stuck out Nelson said that he saw somebody buying 12 packages of 30 eggs so literally her entire shopping cart was full of eggs so don't know what she's doing with all those eggs but hey you do what you do. So anyways, because I mean, well, we do what we did. So here we go, continuing on. We have here a head of cabbage because cabbage does keep really, really well. I have been experimenting with some different um, ex uh, recipes with it and they've been tasty, well received from Ginevra. So that is a good thing. Now the, here we have a can of uh, baby formula. Actually, this is toddler formula. Nathaniel is starting um, more cow's milk, but we wanted to have that on hand just in case we were running low on milk and we couldn't get out. And you never know what, how bad the lockdown is going to get. We have a thing of bananas that we're going to be getting through first. And then we have three white radishes or daikon. So these is really good if you super braise beef with some like five spice and star anise and things. But it's also really good to, to make pickles out of. So I mean, I've never tried making pickles out of it but i am really excited to try that out because i love pickled daikons so good and then over here there's the dry noodles these are a product of taiwan nelson said there's no preservatives in them so he wanted to get this nelson loves like asian noodles like this so he 
bought a bunch. Two things of Ovaltine. He bought two because he said one had zero amount of calcium and the other one had 30% of your daily intake of calcium. So again, this is just for some extra nutrients. We, no, Ginevra drinks this. Um, this is her version of hot chocolate. <laughs> so we'll make it with this. And I grew up on this stuff, so I hope it's healthy. I drank it and I turned up fairly okay, I think. Um, ginger, what we're going to do is we are going to peel and cut these into desired sizes and then we're going to freeze them. And then for uh, garbage flies, we have the compostable long bags. So we did that. Those were not included in the haul. This is currently our workstation because Ginevra is always back there for online schooling. So Nelson and I, we are here to help her out with any issues with online school. Moving on, we have one, two, three, four boxes of the rice rusks. Nathaniel is a huge eater and he loves to snack, so he's getting those. And then for a snack for Ginevra, we got her these bear paws. So Nelson got a bunch of different ones. This one is a veggies and fruit that she's never tried, but um, this is the one she's been asking for, the chocolate sandwich one, which looks like an Oreo cookie. And then here's another one that's a uh, uh, veggie and fruit, but this is carrot cake flavor so i mean these just make really easy snacks for her if we're both in a meeting and it's snack time let's go she knows that she's allowed to go to it in her snack drawer and grab one of these if she wants that for a snack he also got two things of uh cereal which we actually don't eat a lot of cereal to be honest with you but um it's always fun to have on hand i give these to her as a treat so this is like a special snack and um not really like a, her staple cereal this is the french toast crunch she hasn't had this one in particular but she's had like the chocolate ones and a maple waffle one from the Eggo brand by kellogg's but this one will be new for her. I think she'll be excited because it says French toast. She loves her French toast. Nelson did look at the ingredients and nutrients wise besides the the sugar levels. It's pretty actually close to, strangely enough, the multigrain Cheerios. So that was a big surprise for me. But um, like, I mean, of course, this one has a higher sugar content than this one. But I mean, as a, as a special treat, sure, why not? Next, we have a bottle of mayonnaise. I've recently discovered baked chicken with mayonnaise on it. Oh my gosh, guys, it is insanely delicious. It's so easy to make. Really, 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 really tasty. If you ever made that recipe before, let me know in the comments below and if you add any different spices because I'm always looking for easy meal ideas as well. And that, my friends, was a super easy meal idea. I loved it. Here we have uh, two things of the Schneider Juicy Jumbos. I always giggle when I see that. Um, being very immature right now. But yes, there's two of the Juicy Jumbos these we just have them on hand as a you know something quick and easy throw it in some pasta throw it on your instant noodles or i recently tried making this flourless um and ovenless pizza using potatoes eggs sausage and cheese so good everybody loved it so i'll probably make that again it's decently quick and eventually i'll have the i'll have the <laughs> the vlog of that up so, so just you know subscribe to the channel if you're new here send so, turn on that bell notification so you don't miss that video let's keep going we have 18 eggs we would have bought more but we actually uh, did a bit of a stock up on eggs last time around so we have enough eggs to definitely last us for at least a month um including all my baking adventures we also bought two things of garlic we do cook with a substantial amount of garlic i noticed though oddly we bought like um I think they're called, like, uh, they were, they were garlics from Turkey, and it has, like, these little purple streaks in them, but they last so much longer than this variety. This variety will sprout out or mold on me if I don't use it quickly. The other ones, oh my gosh, they lasted forever, so I was really impressed with that. Here we have some Activia probiotic yogurt they are a pack of 12 and so nelson did order he did buy not order he did buy two packages of that and that'll most likely to be just for him and i and maybe nathaniel i will try to get jennifer to eat some but she's so picky guys help me out she's so picky about eating especially like yogurt and stuff i don't know what it is i can get her to eat vegetables but it's so hard to get her to eat fruit which is really weird all right applesauce applesauce category i'm sure i told you guys before nathaniel is an applesauce addict yes my son is an addict and he's addicted to applesauce <laughs> it's kind of funny and sad at the same time so we were running low and so nelson wanted to make sure he has some plus he does have an egg allergy um that we the the allergy allergenist uh told us that he um should be introduced to more 
egg products but on a very slow level and um just in like baking but not like actual eggs itself so i do sometimes make like pancakes with applesauce for him so that he can like really like scarf it down and, and i've made applesauce muffins before so good or baking with applesauce oh like an al i made an apple cake the other day oh my gosh guys amazing if you never tried making apple cake try it it will blow your mind next we have some uh, diced tomatoes in a can these are just a staple in our family i do use them a lot in cookings like for sauces i like my pasta sauce really chunky so this adds a really nice texture to it i usually go for the no salt added so i can really control the salt content in it so that's that also you can use this to make shakshuka oh my gosh i always say it wrong but shakshuka i'll put the name of it up here but anyways makes a super duper easy yummy meal with some diced tomatoes because regular tomatoes are really expensive right now we also have here a package of quaker oatmeal I'm using this for baking to make um chocolate chip oatmeal cookies so good but also my mom actually uses as part of her marinade in uh, meatballs and it makes it so super soft and juicy so if you haven't tried that definitely give it a try but it's really 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 good or i make my own granola with it um this thing was really funny this is yao choy which is like a chinese staple vegetable and i've never seen yao choy so big in my life ever like these are super duper tall i'm worried that they are going to be a little bit tough because of they look very mature so we're gonna find out with that we oopsies i just took the bag we have two bags of shanghai bok choy the shanghai bok choy we have the miniature version and we have the regular size um these are easy to it's just really easy to cook with guys so again these are little staples i do a lot of stir fries with these or if i'm making kind of like a um not a stew but it's kind of like a braise or like a it's, it's, it's kind of like a soup but you kind of stew it at the same time i don't know how to explain it. i don't know what it's really called if you know what i'm talking about let me know in the comments below but this makes uh makes it really easy just to kind of like quick blanch in it once it's almost done good way to get a good dark leafy green um, this was a really big surprise. They had chayote in a bag at um, at Walmart. So this was in the clearance box. $2 for all this chayote, which had two, four, five chayotes in it. Normally they're about like a dollar each or I bought them last time at TNT for I think it was like a dollar fifty a pound or something like that so this is a really great price however these childhoods have definitely seen the better days so i'm gonna look up to see if i can clean them up and then possibly stick them in the freezer to see if they freeze well and if they do that's awesome because everybody in the family loves eating these they're super duper yummy here's the most expensive milk available at tnt Oh, but hey, my kids need milk, so that's just that. The true taste, it's the micro filter one, although this one has a very smooth taste, but we normally just buy the regular ones because the kids' palates aren't that, you know, sophisticated yet. They're working on it. But yeah, we bag of milk because my kids need milk. And then here is some icing sugar because we've been doing a ton of baking and I am running low. So Nelson got a big bag of that for us. And then what else did he get? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, three things of celery. I told him, get some celery if it's, you know, a decent price. Um, and instead of getting one, he bought three. But that's okay. I can make celery soup. Have you ever had celery soup? It's actually not bad. It's very fresh tasting. I also learned that you can actually eat the leaves of the celery I don't know how much you're allowed, you, you should eat, but you can eat the leaves of the celery. So like when you go to like Asian restaurants, a lot of times in like the diced almond chicken and stuff, you don't see the leaves, you only see the stalk. So that was really surprising for me. Moving forward, guys, two things of dried fruit. Just to my surprise, he bought dried cranberries, which I love. I don't know if the kids are going to like it, but that's so yummy. Love dried cranberries. And then he bought some raisins um, because I put them in a lot of my cook, not my cooking. Although I did make a coconut curry oxtail stew with potatoes and raisins and oh my gosh it was so good sounds weird but trust me guys add a little bit of raisins to it it just adds like this little pop of sweetness so delicious yum 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 and then mm, peach apple carrot uh, applesauce which is favorite and then also strawberry and kiwi kiwi strawberry and kiwi um <laughs> My dog kiwi just opened his eyes and looked like yes mother but strawberry and kiwi applesauce as well which is also delicious so we have two things of juice here these were on sale so i asked nelson to pick up some juice he got the no pulp one that was the only one that's not 
Oh, okay. So they're running low on juice as well. So yeah, um, normally I like it with a lot of pulp, but this is no pulp. So that's fine. I mean, it's still, it's still juice for, for Ginevra to drink. So it's fine. Uh, three things of bread he bought. Normally he buys uh, whole wheat bread, but he was trying to look at the shelf life. And the shelf life here is January 26th. So it gives us about, what, 14 days, two weeks to get through this which should be fine. We get up through about a loaf a week or so. So it, it might be a little bit stale, but I usually keep it in my drawer here out of the sun and away from heat. And it usually lasts quite quite a bit of time past the uh, best before date. And um, yeah, so that's why he bought the white one because I had a longer, a later ex uh, best before date. A thing of sour cream because I've discovered making sauces with sour cream is absolutely delicious. So I'm happy that he picked that up. And then we also have our favorite Cheetos. This is my vice. Is it called my vice? But this is my weak point. This is my kryptonite, guys. I love these. We've been watching Modern Family, this TV series. And whenever I watch Modern Family, I just want these crunchy Cheetos. I don't know. Something about Modern Family and eating crunchy Cheetos. So good. But if you're binge watching something like Bridgerton, have you watched that series? Oh, my God. I was so obsessed with it. I know. It's really, really, really crunchy but it's really, really good. That's more of like a cake type of a snack or like ice cream. But if you're watching Modern Family, you gotta have the Cheetos. He also bought uh, some different types of squashes. Now I've never, I I think this is a butternut squash. What is this? Yes, butternut squash. I think I've made this before. I don't quite remember. I've made this one before, the calabasa, I think they're called. I don't know. We call them pumpkins in Chinese, but these are really good. To me, they taste like pumpkin. And then he also picked up a thing of the micro band, which is what I use to disinfect all of the groceries here. Obviously not the leafy vegetables, but just kind of like the high touch area. So I'll spray a cloth and then wipe down the bag. And then he bought this, which is called a Santa, Santa melon, honey. Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. So this is called a Santa Melon. Never heard of it. So this is supposed to be like extra sweet. So excited to try that out. I literally thought it was a squash, right? Or a watermelon. I don't know. But it looks kind of like between this and a watermelon. If they had a baby, it would look like that. I don't know. If you've had a, a Santa Melon before, let me know what, you, what your thoughts are. And then um, he also got a spaghetti squash. Love spaghetti squash. They're really just really yummy. And then he bought eight jars of the protein of the chicken in broth baby food. Um, these, again, are just for like a... On the days that I didn't realize that his home cooking food for Nathaniel we ran out and I need protein in a pinch because I don't have enough time to defrost some meat... That is what this is for, because honestly, it has happened. It happened a couple days ago, and I needed one of these. So that's why we have these. We were, like I said, Nelson and I were both working full time still, plus amongst other things. So sometimes you just need some help, and that's okay. It's okay. But most of the time, he eats home cooking. All right. Then we have one other thing of instant noodles. This is cup noodle, and I asked him, why did you buy one single cup noodle? Apparently, it was a free gift from TNT. So that's that. We also have a bunch of noodles. So we have the rotini. These were at the same price. These were 87 cents for the entire bag of 900 grams, which is a really fantastic price. This will last us for a good couple of meals each bag. And I, whenever I make pasta, I usually tend to cook it in bulk so that we get the most usage out of it. So he has two bags of rotini and two, four, so 12 of the spaghettis. Again, this will last us for a very, very long time. And no, we don't shop like this very often. If you've seen on my other hauls, you'll notice that we haven't bought spaghetti in a while. So that's that. And we still have some left from the other round. So this is, again, for later on. This will last us for several months, if not a year. Then we get into oranges. Oranges were on sale at TNT. I think they were like 99 cents um, a pound, which is substantially better than what I paid for it last time around, which was like $1.50 a pound. So that's good. I mean, you can zest it. You can juice it. You can do whatever you want with it. But you have fresh oranges, which is awesome. Then we have, and this was a big question of mine, why is he in such a beanie mood? He's like the Asian version of Mr. Bean because he bought this bean and then he bought another bean. And so, yeah. Anyways, he's in a bean mood. So he did buy cans of beans. Uh, yeah, I don't even know how else to say that. He bought he bought cans of beans, guys. And um, I don't personally love the taste of them. At least I don't remember loving the taste of them. But that's okay. He's like, again, this is just in case. We're running low on fresh vegetables and we need some filler vegetables until we can go to the grocery store again. Voila, 
here it is. So in case things get really bad, we got the beans. And then some non-food stuff besides, of course, this one here. I, I realize that's not food, guys. Um, he got a box of parchment paper. I have been loving cooking with parchment paper over aluminum foil because um, it doesn't stick. It does not stick, and I find like it tears a, a, not as easily as well, like on the pan. So I've been loving cooking with parchment paper when I'm roasting foods. It's been like awesome. And then as a surprise, he got me a bunt cake pan mold thing um so that i he said in his words so that i could try to make coffee cake so i think he wants me to make coffee cake so this was i think made, was it on sale or was it just regular oh, price it was four bucks which is really good price and then he also final thing is he got the cake pan of three pieces which are all spring form so i could do some even more baking yay um this is the pillsbury one the last time that he bought the bigger ones and they were like 13 inches um those were 13 dollars each and so this three piece set was 12 dollars, which is a really great price i think i don't know that much about baking but i think that's a good price like i mean because um instead of one for 13 you get three for 12 so that has to be a better thing right guys so all in all that's it for this whole guys tons of variety which is always good because variety is the spice of life and I realize I'm talking a lot. You guys know me. I talk a lot all the time. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this really quick haul without seeing my trying to hide my messy kitchen from you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick haul. I was actually overall really impressed with the different varieties that he got. He got a lot of really hearty things and a lot more healthy things than he normally gets. So yay, good job, boo. All in all, he spent just under $300 on this entire um, grocery trip, which isn't bad considering he wasn't really looking for deals there's only a couple of things that were on deals that he really went in for and he ended up just getting everything else because we're trying to go to as few separate establishments as possible right now hope everyone is well staying healthy staying safe um you know taking care of your well-being and your mental health i know it's been almost a year since the pandemic started so it's trying to of course get taxing for everybody so hopefully you guys are still trying to find ways to uh bring joy to your life um and you know just you know doing what you gotta do that's what we're doing. We're doing what we got to do. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I'm still working on my, my release schedule. But if you want to see more of my stuff, make sure you go visit my Dancing Avon Lady channel where I post up two to three times a week. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what type of video would you guys be interested in. I do love to cook. So if you ever want to see more cooking videos, uh, let me know. And the final thing is that I started a blog. Well, actually, Nelson started a blog. He helped me start a blog. Had the idea. He made it come to life. So yay, thanks, boo. So I I have a new blog up called the dancing avon lady.ca so www.thedancingavonlady.ca and there is my social universe you'll see posts about the kids there you'll see food posts there um as well as some there's like beauty tips business tips and you know all a bunch of other avon and dance related stuff all right so that's it for this video guys i'll see you in the next one bye